Hey everyone, Surreal K9 here. Welcome back for more to Sky 4 Promise Revisited. In the last episode, we got interrupted by a Geoblock tutorial, and in between episodes, I uh, I did a little bit of grinding. Uh, you can see Valvatores is level 15 now, but everybody has the uh, has close to the best weapons I could get with the uh, with a product rank of one. And if you take a look in the uh, in my uh, Senate, you can also see that I unlocked a couple of the other uh, evil symbols that were available. These three um, are not nearly as useful as the others, so I just kind of let them be, but I will show you my uh, campaign HQ right now. I'll show you the power of sardines. This here is the defense fortress. Uh, members will take damage for each other, for adjacent allies, and protect is also a thing. I don't know entirely what protect is in this context, but... Uh, and this is the heart cannon. When a member is within a certain range of another ally, they will perform a support attack. So, like, if, Val if uh, Cyrus here is two or three spaces away from Valvatores and he attacks a dude, Cyrus will jump in to attack the dude, too. So that's what the Heart Cannon does. Uh, campaign Board allows the members to become Senators, so uh, on occasion we'll have Stella and our two Prinnies show up in the uh, Senate hearings. And they're more likely to not to vote for us. So it's a little bit of help there. That being said, it's time to head out and see what all these uh, unprinnies are up to in the rotten field. Let's go! 2-1, rotten sick bad. How is this possible? She arrived here before me? She tried to make it look like I was late. She did say she'd be waiting for us. There you are! I didn't want to be late! <laughs> She's just like me. She's pretty good. My lord, please don't take this idiot so seriously. I show up to meetings like cause... Excuse me? Don't you dare call a lady. Well, not uh, not meetings like in a work context, but I show up at appointments like an hour to to half an hour in advance. Describe a kid who would declare war against my lord. Just because I don't want to be late or stuff. Right now. I'll annihilate you and all of the pretties. It'll be total annihilation for all of you. Do you know what that word means? It means I'm gonna kill all of you. <sighs> Why? I don't understand. You're, you're all just human souls. Why are you going to fight your compatriots? My compatriots? What's that mean? <laughs> it means that they're your own kind. Whatever. I just haven't learned it in class yet. Anyways, did you say they're my own kind? You don't know what we've had to go through because of those lousy frinnies. I can't stand living like this anymore. I want to have a happier dream. Put an end to this nightmare. I need to get rid of you guys. <laughs> Whether wanted or not, the war which later became known as Prinny War One began. All right, so we have ghosts here. Ghosts, uh, the magic change into staves. They're very magical monsters, and they recover SP at the end of their turn. This here is the thief. Uh, the thief has a double success rate. They like uh, they like bows and guns. These are just red slimes, which are red versions of the green slimes we've seen earlier. So that being said, we have an ally boost plus fifty percent block here, and a no effect block here, and couple other no effect blocks here.
They also have no color change blocks of all things. I don't know why that matters when there where, when there aren't any geo panels, but whatever. All right, so looking at this map, I think our strategy would be to uh, to make all of our enemies fall off the wayside. I'll show you. And to do that, I'm gonna need a unit with 24 jumper more. Oh, that actually doesn't help us very much. Okay, change of plans. I'm gonna chuck a unit up there. Uh, Rutil, you do the honors. You're gonna throw this ghost down here, and everybody else can beat him up. Here I come. Forgive me. So about the size of this, uh, about the size of this HP indicator in the. Uh, in the attack menu, um, a yellow bar means that the uh, a yellow bar is the relative size of the damage you'll do relative to the unit's max HP. If the bar is red, then that means it's a kill. Okay, so a small bar means a little bit of damage. A big bar means a lot of damage. It's kind of backwards from how this guy at five is, but whatever. Anyway, that's overloaded pretty great. Let's get everybody else out here. here I go. My first priority when I uh, when I unlock the necessary evil symbol is going to be uh, I got this. It's going to be buying shoes for everybody. You need a special evil symbol to be able to buy shoes for guys. I mean, granted, this uh, this whole thing is obviously just a ploy to get me to throw my units around more, but it's still a little slow and frustrating. Anyway, this girl's probably gonna hurt herself doing this, but that's just fine. Because now we can make progress! Yay, progress! Ooh, you're weak to fire, that's good for me. Are you weak to fire? Yes. By the way, when you uh, enhance your skills in the ability shop, uh, they get a damage multiplier, as you can see here, and magic skills get an increased range and area of effect. It's a very nice sort of thing. Let's chuck somebody else up there so uh, they can get the experience. The EXP. Yeah, Cyrus, you were kind of in the stuff there. All right, let's get everybody else up. Uh, Benric, you deal with the uh, the Geo Cube here. That's what we're gonna do. Oh hey, Kitty has a has a pretty high jump stat there. And that's what we're gonna do. Alright, now I get a. I'm gonna get you up here so you can uh, flame these guys to death. Justice reigns from above! I 
pick up and throw these mushroom uh, objects, then they have effects on people. As you can see, Red Blob over there just got poisoned. Which is pretty great. I love a good poisoning as part of my daily breakfast. Jack, here I come. Here I come. Yeah. Lag. I mean, if the PS3 version of the game has performance issues, you know that the PS Vita version is gonna have performance issues. Just one of those little awkward things. What, really? Well, I guess you do have pretty low end. There. Magic Siphon, absorb target character's SP. That's. That's actually a really great skill for a for a skull to have. I like this. Whoops. <laughs> Hi kitty. Alright, let's get Fenric to do a thing. Fenric's Swift Power Shot is a wind elemental attack that also pushes units back. Um, unfortunately, you resist wind a little bit, but that's fine. Where's <laughs> Valvatoris? Camera. <laughs> okay, that was just dumb. The camera really likes that wall, apparently. Can I? No, I can't. Can't do the this guy a two trick either, where I can throw enemies like that. Oh my. Of course, the uh, Rangis can attack through walls because that's just magical. Alright, let's get somebody up there and finish the job. Where this whole ridiculous facade comes crashing down on our face. It's like a Paper Mario 2 battle. That might be a pretty cool game to let's play at some point, I don't know. Still sticking to my plan of only doing one game at a time. So I feel like doing half minute hero. Assuming the issues with that even got fixed. It's not entirely certain that they have been fixed. Um, yes, yeah, Stella can attack. I STAB YOU THROUGH A WALL! <laughs> Ghost unlocked! Discipline room can now be suggested. Not bad, guys. As expected of my dream, I knew this wasn't gonna be easy. Dream? What's that last talking about? Who knows? Just the blathering of an idiot. It's best to just ignore it. What's the status of the Trini Exterminators? Mr. The President! It's the Lion Man! It's the President! The outcome is fairly obvious. But as long as some Trinis are gotten rid of, it'll help justify our plans. And what about the Abaddon? Have you heard anything from them? Unfortunately, they have been MIA since their encounter with the enemy. I see. And when you have it when you grow up.
Seems like even the villains here have their issues. The item worlder is ready! Item worlder takes you to the world within an item. It's the perfect place to power up your dudes and power up your items at the same time. Item world is a randomly generated dungeon. It's very dangerous. We are not going to deal with it yet. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can unlock that uh, that evil Follow symbol me, we everyone. just got, the discipline room. You'll be able to enforce discipline. Yeah, this is pretty much your uh, your your uh, prison for dudes that you capture. I guess we can see if uh, I guess I can see if we can unlock this now. First, I'm going to uh, grab some items. Actually, that's a pretty good mix of items already. Let's do it. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yep, see, there's Stella. You can't bribe your own allies, but, uh, but they are more likely to vote for you. Preferred item, glasses. Let's give you some glasses, then. Much of a use for these stealing hands without a thief on my side. <clears throat> Alright, we got one zombie to uh, change his opinion of us ever so slightly. Let's let's cast the vote. Heck yeah! Approved! Now we have a discipline room. Let's place it on the map somewhere. Members will torture enemies to find treasure or add them to the party. So. You don't have any prisoners to discipline. Come back after you've caught a prisoner by throwing an enemy into your base panel. Alright, so I guess we got a little bit of time, so we might as well show off this feature. There's our uh, disciplinarian. Alright, let's do this and, uh, and head for the reincarnation. Or, not the reincarnation site, the rehabilitation room. And just throw one of these low level printies I'll into our base. Now, I'm pretty sure you can only capture units that are a lower level than Valvatores. Also, uh, you. You might have to be able to make that kind of unit. I don't know for sure. Future me, can you uh, can you put a note about that? Thanks. Yeah. Enemy is wreaking havoc inside, and enemy has been captured. Ooh, we got a trophy for that. All right, let's finish this map quickly so we can show this off. That's probably enough dudes. Alright, so... Now, if we talk to our disciplinarian here, let's talk to Garland. Hmm. 
SP has been... Alright, so, when their SP hits zero, you're uh, more likely to get something out of negotiation. Now, if you, uh, if you run out of actions, just go to a, just go to a battle and, uh, do it again. So, we are going to head back into the rehabilitation room. And, actually, no, let's do the reincarnation site, just because. I'll show you sardine power! You can press triangle to skip the animation for a special attack, by the way. It's really convenient. Or you can hold R1 to skip them, or you can just turn the animations off in the settings. Now, as a bit of an experiment here, let's do this. Base panel has been destroyed. That's very likely to be because we can't make a masked hero yet. That being said, we are probably going to pay have to pay a lot of uh, cash to to heal everybody after that. But you know what? Whatever. Oh. Okay. Never mind. That wasn't too bad at all. Alright, time to check out the prison. Find treasure is available. Your SP has been depleted. So now, we can ask them where the treasure is for the map they came from. The treasure chest has appeared at reincarnation site. We can steal their money. We could take them as an ally, or we could just let them go. Now, captured units, um, they tend to be... Um, when you get into areas with more powerful units, like, uh, for example, the Land of Carnage, uh, you can get some enemies with insane stats that you couldn't find anywhere else, but, uh, the Land of Carnage boost kind of goes away if you reincarnate them, so never mind. If you don't know what either of those things are, then I will get to them uh, when they become relevant, but for now we're just going to let this guy go. And... If we return to reincarnate... Wait, what? Okay, I guess we're going to reincarnation site. There's a treasure chest here. I shall re-educate you. Here I come. All right, let's send uh, let's let's send Sasha to a. Can she reach that? Yeah. Here I come. I don't know why it was reincarnation site that it picked. Uh, I thought it would be from wherever the unit came from, but maybe that's not the case. No. 25 EXP. <laughs> okay, that was kind of pointless. I'll probably attach my uh, explanation of the of treasure when I figure out what it is to uh, 
to the video description for this. Because right now I am just confused. Treasure icon has gone away. All right, I am. I'm gonna take a break for now. Get something to eat. Get something to drink. And when I get back, we will be doing next map on episode two. See you guys later. Bye bye.